What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick. In the Indiana Pacers versus Miami Heat NBA matchup going down Friday, November 4th, 2022. Before we get to that free pick, got to let you guys know at PickDogs.com. We're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed and also take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer. The link in the description of this video below. Also in the description of this video below, click the join button for more information. On our YouTube VIP and Premium Passes, a great way to get yourself some premium content for an awesome price. Those VIP and Premium Passes will ensure that every single day you're getting plays from myself, Mitch, and Rod. It's one of the best values going to sports handicapping today, so make sure it's something that you check out, take advantage of, and keep in your back pocket. But let's get to this one. Between the Indiana Pacers and the Miami Heat, the Indiana Pacers coming into this game with a record of 3-5 and five on the year, 4-4 four and four against the number. After a 116 to 109 loss to the Brooklyn Nets in the rematch of that back to back same building thing that the NBA is trying to do to cut down on travel, I guess. I don't know. But uh, for the other side, you got the Miami Heat entering this game at four and five on the year after back to back wins at home. Most recently, a 110 to 107 win over the Sacramento Kings, failing to cover the four and a half point spread that they were laying in that game. And the Miami Heat, you know. The thing about Miami is that we all know this is, you know, a perennial playoff team in the Eastern Conference. You know, the Heat, they still have that solid roster. You know, Tyler Hero, they've got Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Kyle Lowry, just to name a few off the top of my head. And this is a Miami Heat team that, you know, still under Coach Spolster, I think is going to be fine down the road. But right now, they're not off to the strongest of starts. You look at, you know, their numbers on the year. A minus 2.3 point adjusted net rating. Uh... Puts them twentieth in the NBA in that regard, you know, being outscored. You know, they're putting up one hundred and ten point two points per one hundred possessions offensively, sitting twenty fourth in the NBA in that respect. On the other side, you've got the Indiana Pacers, who you know have been in the underdog role pretty much all season long, and you know the, the results are starting to come. You know, they they beat the uh, they beat the the Wizards outright on the road, getting four and a half. They beat the Nets at Barclays Center. Um, getting 11 points in that game. They managed to squeak out the cover against the Nets on Halloween night. So, you know, the Pacers, definitely a team that are that are at least trending in the right direction and are doing a good job covering spreads, which are big for, for us betters. You know, I know those guys maybe don't worry about the spread. They worry about going out and getting wins and losses. But, hey, it helps us out a ton. And, you know, like I said, that's what the Pacers have done all season long is they've pretty much covered in the underdog role, you know, We've been an underdog, uh, let me do some quick math here, six times, three and three against the spread, which isn't bad for a team, you know, that isn't expected to do much like the Indiana Pacers. But the thing for me about the Miami, is, is on the other side about the Miami Heat. It's the Miami Heat team that a lot of folks expect stuff from, and laying points, not something that you've had a ton of success with the Indiana, or sorry, with the other Miami Heat this season. Over a, fa as a favorite of three points or more this season, the Indiana, sorry, the Miami Heat, excuse me, 0-5 against the spread. I think that's sort of where this line's going to fall. I believe it's, I'm seeing, I've seen at least a couple of five and a halves pop up in some places. So I'm going to take the points here with the Indiana Pacers. Now they've been scoring fairly well at home, and I think that uh, the offense can do enough to keep the Pacers in this game. So I'm going to take the Pacers here, and that's going to be my free pick. But if you're looking for best bets for myself or any of our other world-class handicappers, check out Pick Dogs Premium and use the promo code Pick, P-I-C-K, all one word, all lowercase, for 15% off your purchase of $25 or more at Pick Dogs Premium. And while you're at Pick Dogs, make sure you check out our free betting tools, some of the best betting tools in the business and tools that you'll want to have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Let's cash some winners.